at hospital. Sira, I heard your mom is. Shh, keep your voice down. Sira is asleep. Xiao Ye, he is here. They are waiting for Xiao to wake up. After the last time at the mall, I think I actually start to care about this guy. He is not as stuffy as he looks. I learned because of his police instincts. There are no more to say. Yes, Xia is Sira's good friend after all. Am I being too cold to her? So I say something to Xiao Ye to break the ice. Smile, smile. Huh? He is smile. So he knows how to smile. He looks kind of cute when he smile. It's just that he is not smiling just for me. Huh? Yes, yeah, Xiao Ye. I didn't know you were here. Why didn't you wake me up? You must be assaulted from this accident. We thought you could use a longer nap. Yes, yeah. Are you all right? You don't look too good. Uh, I'm all right. It's probably low blood sugar from skipping breakfast this morning. <laughs> We can have that, Xiao Ye. Would you mind going downstairs with Yansia to get something to eat? Sure. <laughs> They are going to have a breakfast. It looks delicious. He is always distracted when Siro's not around. Sometimes I wish I did have more relationship experience to know actually what to say at moment like this to grab his attention. Lost in talk. God, all the gods! Can someone teach me how to do this relationship thing? That's right. Shiro and Lu Qinhuan barely had a relationship when they got married, but they still fall madly in love afterward. That means married couples can develop affection for one another after the fact. It must be. <coughs> Xiao Ye, is your family pressuring you to get married? At my age, of course. What suddenly gotten into her? To tell you the truth, my mom has been pressuring me about us getting married since you last visit to my apartment. What do you think? What? What do I think about what? It's a means understanding. But they wouldn't listen to me no matter how I explain. So, Xiao Ye, marry me. What? Huh? Y you see, my family is passing me to get married, and your family is doing the same. So we just get married and make them happy. We don't need to interfere with each other's business after we got married. I will draw up a contract, nothing to responsibilities and obligation of both sides to ASM. This is the best deal to make everyone happy. It's better if I am out working and you be the homemaker. How so? We divide the house cross. Is marriage in your opinion a child's play? What? That's not what I mean. Is everything in the world an object for trading to you, business people? Then you have asked the wrong person. I don't operate like a business person, and I will never trade my marriage for anything. You? Life is all about trading one thing for another. No one is forcing to do anything you don't want to do. There is no need to lash out on us. I'm sorry. But I am a straight shooter. You and I are clearly not worth the same way. No amount of talking is going to save it. That Xiao Yu looks like a little angry now. I'm leaving. If you like my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Xiao Yu, you soon off again. You saw fast face. You are going to be mine.